Today we'll be taking a look at East West Rail, discussing where it will eventually serve and some of the progress being made so far, and we'll also be taking a closer look at Calvert, where East West Rail will cross HS2. To begin with though, I thought I'd talk briefly about the progress so far and where the section of East West Rail that is currently under construction will eventually serve. First tentative steps towards reinstating an east-west rail link between Oxford and Cambridge were taken in 2016 when work to upgrade the track between Oxford and Bicester was completed. This saw the line double tracked and a new Oxford Parkway station constructed. Bicester Village Station, which was previously known as Bicester Town, was closed to allow for the upgrade of the line and was reopened as Bicester Village at the end of 2015. This upgrade allowed Chiltern Railways to begin operating an Oxford to London Marleybone service, calling at the two new stations. Despite the fact that there are already services operating between Oxford and Bicester, more work will be needed to be carried out on this section to eventually run up to four trains per hour. This work will include adding a new platform to Oxford Station, with the upgrade of the station now underway, and work to improve a key level crossing across London Road in Bicester. The next phase of East West Rail, which is now underway, will reinstate part of the abandoned Varsity line between Bicester and Bletchley, which involves partially rebuilding the Bletchley flyover that will eventually carry EWR trains over the West Coast Main Line and into a newly constructed high-level station at Bletchley. Work on Bletchley flyover is largely complete, with a large part of the work carried out last year, whilst work continues on the new high-level station. Although much of the old alignment between Bicester and Bletchley is being reused, the line in many places will appear to be a completely new railway, with many new bridges and structures needing to be constructed. Some of the new bridges will be to replace existing road over rail or rail over road bridges, but one new bridge in particular is needed to cross a piece of infrastructure that wasn't there previously, that being HS2 of course, which will cross East West Rail at Calvert, with the crossing located between the villages of Calvert and Steeple Claydon. The crossing will actually involve much more than just building a new bridge over what will eventually be HS2. The work also involves the construction of a new infrastructure maintenance depot for HS2, a connection from the new depot to East West Rail, and the construction of passive provision for an EWR spur to run alongside HS2 that could eventually connect East West Rail to Aylesbury using part of the old Great Central Main Line. The connection to Aylesbury is just an aspiration for the moment, but it is good that passive provision is being included. HS2 will also use part of the old Great Central alignment past Calvert, where part of the old station can still be seen, for now at least. The part of the Great Central Railway that passes Calvert actually had track running along it up until recently, and was used as a railhead to deliver aggregate for the construction of HS2. The track has since been lifted in readiness for the construction of HS2, which will require the rebuilding of the bridge that carried School Hill over what was the Great Central Railway, just to the north of the old Calvert Railway Station. The section of EWR where it crosses HS2 is actually quite a complicated undertaking, as the track will cross above HS2 where previously a road bridge crossed above the existing EWR alignment. That bridge has since been demolished and a new rail over road bridge is under construction. The maintenance facility mentioned earlier will run alongside the east-west rail tracks and will be used to store infrastructure maintenance vehicles for HS2. It will be connected to both EWR and HS2, meaning infrastructure maintenance trains will be able to transfer from one to the other if needed. The low profile of the buildings, combined with landscaping taking place to the north of EWR, should mean that the facility will not be visible from, or at least, will have a minimal visual impact when viewed from the village of Steeple Claydon. Looking beyond Calvert, and even beyond Bedford, the long-term ambition of East West Rail is to provide a connection between Oxford and Cambridge, with the phase from Bedford to Cambridge perhaps being the most challenging, as much of the old alignment has since been built upon, and Bedford Railway Station will also need to be remodelled. The section of EWR between Bletchley and Bicester should however be completed by 2025, when services operated by West Midlands Railway will run between Oxford and Milton Keynes using Class 196 diesel multiple units. Unfortunately, the line won't be electrified, but the new structures that are being constructed are being built with passive provision for electrification in the future. However, existing bridges will remain largely unchanged and some work will have to be done to replace bridges or lower the track if the line is to be electrified, which in my opinion should be sooner rather than later. The consultation on future improvement works and future extensions of East West Rail to Cambridge and Aylesbury ended in 2021 and now further design work is underway. So for now the completion date for the full East West Rail route is not known but I'm sure I'll update you if any further information is provided over the next few months or even years. 
So there we are, that's just a little bit of information about East West Rail and more specifically about Calvert and where East West Rail crosses HS2. Hope you found this video informative. If you have, please do hit that like button and drop a comment in the comment section below and even consider subscribing, it really would be appreciated. But I'm going to leave it there for today. Say so until next time, bye bye.